this event and ensure that those two blue lights shoot up into the sky and we show everybody that we're still standing after 19 years. It was an ecstatic 9-11 first responder and advocate John Feel reacting to the news that the tribute in light will take place after all. This embarrassing reversal comes just two days after the 9-11 memorial and museum called off the display over coronavirus and financial concerns. And just one day after the Stephen Siller Tunnel to Towers Foundation said they would find a way to save those twin beams of light representing the Twin Towers. 9-11 is still the worst day in the history of this nation and there's still tens of thousands of people suffering from it, especially here in New York. Late Saturday afternoon, the change of heart from the museum head. In the last 24 hours, we've had conversations with many interested parties and believe we will be able to stage the tribute in a safe and appropriate fashion. One of the reasons for the flip-flop, former Mayor Bloomberg, chair of the museum, agreed to help fund the display. It also got major support from Governor Cuomo and the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation. I'm glad. I, I think it should go on. This has to be done safely. Everybody follow precautions. It's a good thing for us to, especially people who live in this area, to see and, you know, to continue to see, I guess. For those who live and work in the area and for those visiting the reflecting pools outside the still closed museum, those twin towers of light reaching four miles into the sky from dusk to dawn on September 11th mean so much. I believe it's a beautiful sight. I believe that for some people it will definitely give them um, an attitude of hope uh, because we are currently still going through uh, this tumultuous time. And Governor Cuomo had tweeted that the state will be offering health personnel to make sure that the light, the tribute and light, is erected safely. And it's not quite clear how much money Mayor Bloomberg has donated to the cause. We are live in Lower Manhattan, right outside of the museum. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News. Back to you, Kate.